Hi, kids, and welcome to VeggieTales. I'm Bob the Tomato. Uh, I'm Bob the Tomato. Larry! Just a minute! Are you okay? I'll be right there. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, Larry? Yeah, Bob? Over here. Oh, yeah? Um, have you been cooking? What? Oh, you noticed my new hat. Your hat? Yeah, isn't it the coolest? Um, Larry, you've got an oven mitt on your head. Oh, yes, they're all the rage. Simply everyone is wearing them. Really? Well, all the cool people anyway. Yep, but you can't see where you're going. Isn't that a little dangerous? Fashion has its price. Larry, he almost fell into a toaster back there. Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. Don't you read Veggie Beat magazine? This is the look. Without this oven mitt on my head, I just wouldn't be cool. I see. Hey, that reminds me of a letter we just got from Dexter Wilmington of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, yeah, don't say. I do. Now, Dexter says that sometimes when he's at his friend Billy's house, Billy wants to watch this TV show that Dexter's not supposed to watch. Now, Dexter knows that it's a bad show, but Billy says that if he doesn't watch it, it means he's not cool. What should he do? Oh, what a pickle. You know, Bob. Over here, Larry. You know, Bob. I think we need Cordy for this one. I'll be right back. Um, Larry, watch out for the... <laughs> sink. Ouch. Are you okay? They didn't mention this in Veggie Beat Magazine. <laughs> you know, Dexter, while I try to get Larry out of the sink, I want you to listen to a story about three boys named Rack, Shack, and Benny who were in a pickle just like yours. Oh, you're back! Well, I still haven't been able to get Larry out of the sink. I want to get out, Bob. But it's time now to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today, and God has a lot to say in his book. Larry, you know how I feel about that song. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone, and now that our song is done, we'll take a... Hey, that's cold! As I was saying, it's time to talk about what we've learned today. Right, Larry? I'm wet. Right. Well, Rack Shack and Benny learned that standing up for what they believed in was pretty hard, but it was worth it. When all their friends were doing things that were wrong, Rack Shack and Benny remembered what their parents had taught them, and that God wanted them to do what was right. In the end, God was protecting them, even in the fiery furnace. What did you learn, Larry? Well, I learned that doing something that you know isn't such a good idea, just to be cool, isn't very cool. I put an oven mitt on my head just because Veggie Beat Magazine said it would make me cool, even though I couldn't see anything. It didn't make me cool. It made me, it made me bump into a toaster and then fall into the sink. And now I can't get out of here. I'm going to be stuck here forever, and people are going to set plates on my head, and I'm never going to get to go to the circus or run through the fresh-cut grass or feel the ocean breathe in my hair as I pilot my nibble schooner Felix off the coast of our family home at Kenny Bunkport. Oh, Auntie M, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Click, click, click. Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, Larry, do you see that spoon over there? Uh-huh. If you stand on that end of it, and I jump onto the other end, it'll fling you out of there, okay? Okay. This'll just take a second. I'm ready. Okay, here I come. Oh, that's much better. Thank you, Bob. Bob? Bob? I'm in here, Larry. Oh, there you are. Hey, let's see if Cordy has a verse for us. Stand firm and hold to the teachings we passed on to you. Second, Cephalupians, Sicilians, Cephalupians. Uh, Bob? Thessalonians. Thanks. Can I get out now? Not yet. Second Thessalonians 2.15. That means remember what your parents teach you and what you've learned from the Bible. If someone wants you to do something that you know is wrong, stand firm and do what's right. In our story, Rack, Jack, and Benny stood firm when all their friends were doing things they knew were wrong. So, Dexter, the next time you go to Billy's house, maybe you could bring one of your favorite videos to watch instead. He might think it's pretty cool. It isn't always easy, but knowing you've done the right thing sure feels good inside. Right, Bob? Yep, that's right, Larry. 
I'd like to get out now. Well, that's all the time we have today. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Goodbye!